typical Montessori classroom would look very busy. Most likely you would see 25 children doing 25 different activities. You would see children engaged in art and science experiments. You would see children working on mathematics and building maps of the continents of the world. Our classes are all multi-age groupings. They get to grow from being the youngest members of the community into the real leaders. So we know that every child's going to get the lessons in our curriculum, but they're not going to get it in the same order. They follow their own path of learning through these environments, and the result is that they retain much more of what they learn, and they own their learning, and they become confident about what they know. It's a really nice school and I've learned a lot of things here. There's like all these different materials that you don't have to like do it on paper. We can help each other if we have like a hard time. It's pretty fun. You don't have to be doing the same thing as others. I get to do um, things that I think may be a little bit funner, but... When we started our school, there were only two other Montessori schools in Portland. My mother started West Hills Schools in 1950. Then together we opened West Hills Montessori School in 1968. Then West Hills Montessori School Lake Oswego in 2003. What I continue to love about this school is the sense of community and family and generations of people having come through these doors. There's a warmth about it. Part of what makes West Hills unique is the community, the community of parents and teachers and administrators who are all really dedicated to their children having a very strong foundation. West Hills Montessori School is unique in the city of Portland because of our longevity. Now we have the gift of working with second and third generations and the fact that we have been owned and operated by the same family for almost 50 years. Every classroom that you walk into is really well thought out and well maintained. There is a lot of fluidity between the indoor environment and the outdoor. When children leave Montessori communities, they tend to be very creative thinkers, very confident, very respectful and clear communicators. And most Montessori children also have a very clear sense of self. Montessori has like, taught me to be confident and not back down, and that probably all came from being so independent here. I didn't have to like stick to like one thing or like focus on one thing for too long, which was probably hard for me back then. Montessori really taught me how to see people for more than who they were on the outside and how to um, how to respect people even when they're different. Well, it was a big commitment for us, but I think in the end we realized each individual child was different in their own right, and this is the kind of environment that allowed them to be themselves. One of the best benefits of Montessori learning, in particular here at West Hills Montessori, is just this desire for lifelong learning and just respecting people and being a good person in going through life and knowing how to navigate not only the human side, but the academic side, and both of those coming together.